Miss America just got its first openly gay contestant. Uh, it's Miss Missouri. Her name is Erin O'Flaherty. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. She's 23 years old. Um, and she is believed to be, like I said before, the first openly gay contestant uh, to go on into the Miss America pageant. She says, quote, I'm hoping that I can strike a really nice balance to stay true to the values of Miss Missouri and also being able to exercise my personal views. I'm really excited to talk about this because I think it is a very... Because you think you're going to be Miss California eventually? Yes. I'm, I'm excited to talk about this gay because contestant. I'm competing. <laughs> um, no, I'm excited to talk about this because I was surprised for a number of reasons. I'm surprised a little bit that we hadn't seen this sooner, but actually I guess it kind of makes sense with where we are. Um, and then also that the contestant was from Missouri. I, I honestly would have expected it to be from a more metropolitan state than Missouri, but I don't know, St. Louis is awesome. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong there. Um, and then I also think that this is gonna be a really interesting path ahead for her. I think that there are some challenges that we have yet to see that she will face moving forward in the pageant. And I also think that her being openly gay and beautiful and fitting into the traditional sort of female standards of beauty really challenges a lot of what people have perceived um, a gay woman to be. So I, I like that a lot, but I think that this is just the beginning. What do you think, Hassan? I think there's literally nothing left to say about this story. You, you covered <laughs> it's every done. aspect of it. done. That's all you it. need to know. Um, Come yeah. on, were you surprised? I mean, not really. Uh, I'm sure there were other, uh, like, oh, th that's why they clarified as openly gay contestant. Because I'm sure there were other gay contestants in the past. I've heard that lesbians are everywhere. Y yeah. Even, they could be next to you. It's a terrifying thought. But yeah, I mean, so it's exciting. It's exciting. It's interesting that it's from Missouri. Why? So and explain how do you, that. How why do you, do you toe the line between uh, holding on to Missouri values, but then also having uh, some sort of openly, being openly gay and <laughs> promoting your opinions well, See, like this is why I think it's interesting because we can only speculate on what does it, when, when she says Missouri values, I have actually really no idea what that means, but I would, means I would imagine. Sexuality is a sin. <laughs> well, I know that they are not a state that's super down with the gays. I know that for one. And then but that's I, so cool. I think that's, that's, what, why it's that's so cool. what really makes, like that's what makes this especially cool. Like if you yeah. see it from like Missouri or Alabama, like there's lesbians there too. And like, think about it. If you're if you're gay or, or, or lesbian or transgender growing up in Missouri, and you see that, and you're like, wow, like my state has accepted this person to be uh, the most attractive person. Which, by the way, I won't even get into that whole concept of beauty pageants. But like, my state has accepted this person in one way or the other, and that's awesome. Like, I would say, not only have they accepted her, but, they've celebrated her. Yeah, they've awarded her. Yeah. She's representing Missouri in Miss America. Like yeah. She could possibly become Miss America, and Miss America would be Miss Missouri. Um, I would lose my goddamn mind if she became Miss America. Really? I, I want, is there a way that I can vote? I don't know. Um, hey, guys, let us know in the comment section. Texting. Maybe. Let us know in the comment section below, how can I vote for Miss Missouri? Uh, how can I meet Miss Missouri? Are you Miss Missouri? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what do you think of her winning? Are you surprised it's the first openly gay contestant? Let us know again in the comment section below. We will see you next time on Pop Trigger.